Last presenter of the morning session here, Bob Kaufman from ConnectsPay. Bob, take us home. Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here today because a big part of this show is about innovation. And when I think about innovation within travel, there's been a ton over the past many years. Right, everything from how we check into hotels with our phone to how we get to places with Uber. I don't know about you, but my travel experience today is a lot better than it was 20 years ago, thanks to people like you in this audience and the others presenting here today. Unfortunately, where travel isn't a lot better and where there hasn't been a lot of innovation is within payments. If you think of how we pay for stuff today compared to 20 years ago, for the most part, it's the same. Now, why is that a problem? Well, it starts with the fact that banks view many of you, travel agencies, tour operators, and the like, in the same risk category as online gambling and online pornography. I know that sounds bad, but it's true. You can Google it. And what does that mean? That means for you, it's almost impossible to get the credit that you need. And I promise you, you're paying higher fees than you should for accepting cards from your customers. Know that what I'm going to talk to you about for the next five minutes, nobody in the world does today. We're the first that have anything like this, and it's built specifically for you within the travel industry. We guarantee that we'll save you money on your card processing fees. Some of our initial clients are literally saving millions of dollars per year in their fees. And I know it sounds too good to be true, but often we actually pay you for using our service. Let me explain how this works. Imagine accepting a $1,000 payment from a traveler for a booking. The first thing we do when we take that payment and process it on your behalf is we run it through state-of-the-art fraud controls to make sure it's a good transaction. Then, when we get an authorization on that transaction, unlike everybody else where you wait for your money for two or three days, you immediately, real-time, have access to those funds to make payments to your travel suppliers. In my example, for $950. What's left, which is your markup or margin on the transaction, is provided to you the next day. By processing transactions this way, you truly access a new form of credit. If you think about making payments today with a card, there's only two ways you can do it in the world. You can use a prepaid scenario where you put money in a bank account and draw down on that like you would a check card or a debit card. Or you can go to the bank and get a line of credit. Now, neither situation is ideal, and with ConnectsPay, you don't need either. I talked about reducing your costs on accepting cards, but we also provide you a rebate on the card payments you make to pay your travel suppliers, and that's going to be a significant source of revenue for you. You're going to accept more payments from your travelers confidently with our state-of-the-art fraud controls, and you're going to have the flexibility and security you need to run your business successfully. Let me talk to you about a couple other unique features of our product. Today, when you're accepting payments from travelers, you usually have to choose between either being merchant of record and processing that traveler's payment, and then turning around and paying your travel provider, or you act in a traditional agency model where you pass your traveler's card through to the travel provider and earn your commissions 30 or 60 days later. Now look. Every situation is unique, and one model or the other is not perfect in every situation. With ConnectsPay, you have the ability to choose transaction by transaction. Based on parameters and settings within our system, you choose what's best for that unique situation. Similarly, on the outgoing payments, when you make a payment to your travel providers, you again have choices. Instead of always having the same product type, you can either choose a product that allows you to maximize your revenue through the rebate that you earn, or in some cases, you may choose a product that allows a lower cost to your travel provider. Although we're a young company, our current customers represent 2.6 million annual transactions and $1.3 billion in spend. Our patent filing features numerous unique claims that nobody in the industry has, and the management team that you see on this page represents over 150 years of experience within the payments and travel industry. Let me end with a brief video that further exemplifies how ConnectsPay can help you and your company be successful. Running the day-to-day -day operations of a travel agency is not an easy task. Credit, high fees, 
fraud, and time-consuming reconciliation ultimately affects your cash flow. It's like walking a tightrope without a safety harness. You've been told you're too risky to issue the credit needed, had to prepay and incur regular fraud losses, lost countless dollars reconciling and managing multiple accounts. It's enough to make you stumble. But there is a solution, an easier way to navigate that fine line. ConnectsPay. ConnectsPay offers your agency unlimited credit, lower fees, fraud protection, and handles all your reconciliation in the background. With ConnectsPay, you free up your finances to inject back into your business, eliminating that tightrope, and putting you on solid ground. ConnectsPay. Thank you. Don't try that at home. Thank you, Bob. Dragon Center. So did you really film an actual tight, walk, tight we, rope walker doing we that? We did. Believe it or not, this is what some people do as a hobby. Who would have ever thought it, right? Wow. Not, not for me. <laughs> so I guess one of the big problems that travel companies tend to have is um, getting the ability to... Uh, Get, I guess, an acquiring bank. I get my terminology wrong. Um, and I guess it's because a lot of first data and the sort of the, the processors out there have decided the travel industry is a bad risk. I guess they sort of feel like there's a lot of chargebacks. So how are you addressing that? Sure. So they don't like what they call future delivery risk. I worked at U.S. Bank for 20 years, so I understand this well. So if you take a payment today uh, for a booking, you know, 60 days, 90 days from now, and something happens between the time of that booking and when the traveler actually goes on vacation, it's the bank that's on the hook for any chargebacks, right. right? And so we solve that because we're on both sides of the equation. We are both the acquirer and we also make the outgoing payments. So if there's any issues, if the hotel was blown over in a hurricane or something, we would have rights to get our money back on that, on that secondary payment. Mm -hmm. And that allows then the rest to be significantly less for the banks that are behind us, which allows us to, to charge a lower so, fee. So, so your model is to de-risk the transaction, or to assume risk of the transaction to reduce the discount rate that you're paying right. out. Banks that, price on risk, right? So the higher the risk, the higher they're going to charge. Uh, in our model, that risk is significantly reduced, which <laughs> allows us to save our clients millions of dollars. How much so why, is that, it, okay. why is it reduced? I don't understand. It's the same travelers and the same companies. Why yeah, is it? So, so the risk ultimately goes to where it belongs, to the hotel or the airline, right? wherever the case where there's you know, service not provided is what a lot of chargebacks uh, end up being. And so the risk is there now with their merchant provider, not ConnectsPay. But is it a oh. perception of risk or is it real risk? It's I a think. real it's a, it's it's a risk. A real so you're risk. actually laying the risk back up uh, to the supplier. That's right. Oh. That's right. So you have a team that works on that. Say that again. So you have people that are working on, on collecting from suppliers? Sure, it would be a chargeback like it would on the initial transaction. So there's really two card transactions if you think about it. The first would be between the traveler and the OTA or the tour operator. And the second is between the tour operator and the, and the third party. We're on both sides of that Got transaction. It. So if there's a chargeback on the first transaction, we're able to file a chargeback. You just the hold second. the supplier accountable That's for delivery. Right. Yeah, that's, that's, right. that, that's smart. So if I'm a tour operator, I can't get a merchant acquiring bank anywhere else. I can go to you guys. That's right. You can say, sure, as long as you're willing to eat anything that goes wrong. What happens if I go bankrupt? If the tour operator goes bankrupt? Yeah. The risk that we still hold is their margin, right? In my example, it was the $50. So you can hold an escrow. Yeah, that's right. Well, we don't, we don't hold that for too long. It's just a risk that we take and right. we manage that through our, uh, through our business model. Hmm. But that's a risk that we still hold. It's not sexy, but it's smart. <laughs> hey. We think it's going to be great. Like literally one of our initial clients, we were able to drop their cost of accepting cards literally in half. So you can do the math for yourself, but it's, it's often millions of dollars in savings. Can you do this on other verticals? Yeah, travels first. But uh, if you think about e-commerce, exact same scenario, right? We're talking with uh, Target, uh, some other large retailers where you know, Amazon, in many cases, is selling third-party products, not their own. And the, the, the pain points are the same, and our solution solves those in a similar, a similar fashion. Yeah. I think it's just as sexy as sex box. I, I think actually, <laughs> okay. nothing right, else can yeah. pay for yeah, sex box. No, no judgment. Right? No they, judgment. Might be, they might be a good customer. The, Some the, people the like box. credit cards. We take them all. All right, thanks a lot, Bob. Thank you. Appreciate it.